So today's video is first of all going to be, and I'm pretty sure you've clicked on it because of the title, how I gained the most muscle between the ages of 18 to 21, the training split that gained me the most muscle. this session with a pinch of salt ladies and gentlemen I've done this in a similar kind of structure and format to what I've done lots of other things in the past where I've followed people's workout apps workout plans just things I've found kind of online right that proved a little bit difficult considering Adam Collard is who Adam Collard is that proved a little bit difficult for me right so I've done my best I've been searched on the app store and online to try and find a plan an exact plan that he was gonna do right you had to pay 35 quid for that plan, so I was not paying for that plan. So what I wound up doing was going to YouTube, finding a video where he talks about his old school plan and all that kind of stuff, right? So Adam Collard is actually very performance based, very functional based, less so more on the bodybuilding side of things, right? Nowadays, anyway. So, that is the loudest motorbike you've ever heard in your life. So what I have done is I managed to find some clips so that I can film this video as I wanted to. I can have a session as I wanted to. I managed to find some clips basically of how he used to train, right? How he used to train before he switched this kind of functional mentality, this functional style of training, right? So, what I've actually found is Adam Collard's best muscle building plan. What he thinks helped him put on the most amount of muscle before he went on to Love Island. Obviously, he's on Love Island right now, hence why I'm doing this. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off with a bit of pre-workout. LSJ at checkout, sod whatever Adam uses. LSJ at checkout, my protein pre-workout. Let's do this. Shoulders and arms, same sort of thing, same sort of format. Heavy overhead presses with a barbell first on first rotation, then going into slightly lighter, more higher reps with dumbbell seated uh, shoulder press. That would probably be paired with lateral raises, rear del flies, and then going on at arms. I feel much better now I'm wearing these. Should I just be like shoulder pressing? to volume sets reps RP or something like that it was just go 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 so there's undoubtedly going to be people moaning about the way I've structured this video right the way I've done things let me explain so everything in particular people like Adam will preach do something that goes towards your goals right that suits your goals if I was to do all this functional stuff yes it might be an interesting video but it's not me it's not what I'm trying to do with my goals right now right it's not my it's not my main goal my goal right now is to build muscle so I wanted to train like Adam Collard, but how he did when he used to follow the bodybuilding kind of split. So he used to do upper lower, he used to do push full legs, all that kind of stuff. Today we are doing a shoulders and arms session. Back in the day, all like three years ago when he used to do it, there was no RPE talk, there was no talk of reps, there was no talk of sets. It was pretty much just 
go, 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 lift as much weight as you can for as long as you can. Starting off with low reps, shoulder press, something in which I feel like I specialise in, shall we say. A bit of power. And then we'll move on to some hypertrophy work a little bit later. Some lower reps, uh, lower weight, sorry, higher reps, dumbbells, shoulder press still, and then we'll move on to some arms. I'm actually gonna make the arms bit up. I am not a bodybuilder, I've never been a bodybuilder, I've never competed in bodybuilding or anything like that, but my training style was inspired by bodybuilders. The, the people that I looked up to, the people that I got my work, workout routines from, were those people. So, as you guys know, we're taking a breather, filling up the water, because hydration is key. My protein, a gallon jug, you can use code LSJ at checkout. So, as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, because there may be a few new people watching this video, um, I am, not a bodybuilder as such, right? Very similar to Adam, my inspiration and training style comes from the bodybuilding style of training, but I myself personally am not a bodybuilder. I've never competed. I have the intention to maybe compete one day, but it's something that's just a kind of bucket list thing for me. I don't think it would be something that I would pursue, like the man behind the camera right now. You wanna say hello? Hello. You watch Love Island, right? Hey, like, who doesn't watch Love Island? So Sai, I'm very open about my the fact that I watch Love Island, whereas Sai, you're very secretive about the fact that you watch it, right? I watch Love Island by default, but I, I have to say, it's quite easy watching. I mean, I sort of, I'm always editing in my room when it's on, but I always creep into the front room and start watching it, and obviously talk to my missus about... You're, you're lying, it. mate. You sit down there, <laughs> nine o'clock every day, just like me. I, no, I, I watch... Oh, what's the hour after one? What's it called? The plus one? Oh, the after something. The catching, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you mean the when it's right? I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, what's your thoughts on Adam going in? I actually watched it at nine o'clock and I watch it again after, just so I don't miss any bits. <laughs> just so you know exactly what's yeah, going exactly, on, so you can yeah, talk yeah. to everybody in this yeah, place yeah. about it, right? Because there's a thing, right? This is a bodybuilder's gym. And so on that mindset of being a bodybuilder, but not actually being a bodybuilder, all that kind of stuff. So I has to keep it on the down low that he watches Love Island, whereas I'm, I'm, bells, I'm yeah. very open about the fact that it's actually the pinnacle of, of entertainment. entertainment yes. So, with that said, I've rested long enough. Next set. Oh my God, who's put the bangers on? <laughs> So that is the, oh, it's hot today man, oh my god. That is the, I best not drop this camera. Can you see that wind? It's come inside. I have now finished on the, the main parts of the session and moving on to the fluff essentially. There's actually no real kind of guidance when it comes to the arm section so I'm just gonna do a couple of biceps, a couple of triceps. This has not differentiated from my normal training plan that much really. I feel like that's because we have very similar kind of styles or at least Adam did at this point in time. Let me know in the comments, would you like to see me do another video training like Adam Collard? Now I can find somewhere that's kind of CrossFit based if you like and do that kind of functional style training. To be honest, I think I know quite a few people that would like to get involved with that. So if you're one of those people, let me know in the comments and if you would like to see it again, let me know in the comment section down below. Fun fact, Danica, or Danica, I don't want to be offensive, I'm not trying to say her name wrong, is actually from Melton. Melton Mowbray, as in home home, as in where the home gym is, as in where my mum and dad live, where this channel was built in Melton. She's actually from Melton. She goes to the same school or went to the same school as, well, lots of people I know. Family, friends. Pretty cool, right? So that is going to be it for training like 
Adam Collard. If you would like to see me do a CrossFit version, a more kind of up-to-date Adam Collard version, let me know in the comment section down below because if people don't want me to do it, then I won't do it because it's going to be a lot of effort. I don't do CrossFit. I don't go to a CrossFit gym. I don't have access to CrossFit equipment. If people don't want to see it, I'm not going to do it. But if this goes well and you want to see the next one, let me know in the comment section down below. The next celebrity, the next Love Island star, the next Mr. Olympia, you want to see me train like anything, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Take it all with a pinch of salt. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Nice little references from Ekinsu, from Ekinsu, get the fuck out. As I said, it didn't actually differentiate from my normal training plan. Well, not not that much, really. It was pretty freaking standard. Normally, I would do a push day rather than just shoulders and arms. I would put shoulders, chest, and arms. That's about the only difference. But either way, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did. Let me know by leaving a like if you have. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, remember, everything my protein, LSJ at checkout. Thank you all so much for the support. It's because of people like you that I get to do weird and wonderful stuff like this. It's kind of nuts, really, that this is my job. So thank you. Thank you all so much for your support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.